Greetings, shipmates. It is I, Chief Sarkan. And today I am going to take us through character creation in the new game, or remastered game, Secret World Legends. I'm going to run us through just what your options are, what you can choose from, kind of the routine, kind of let you know what you can think about before you start your own game in Secret World Legends as you discover the mysteries and the horrors that is available to you. So let's just jump right into it. Here we are at the character creation screen. Now each person starts with one slot, unless you're a veteran that comes over from the secret world. And then if you were a patron at the time or a life member, you will have three slots. Now you can buy more slots through their online store, but initially everyone starts with just a single slot. It is a free play game, so this is not an unreasonable um, monetization aspect of the game so don't look too down on it to start with um, most people are probably only going to play a single character anyway at least for the majority of their start of their life if you really get hooked then you'll be interested in rolling another faction for their specific story pieces i've already rolled a templar so i'm going to go ahead and create a second one for this video we're going to jump right in and we'll probably do an illuminati but you have three factions and we'll watch those videos real quick to help you choose them. So as I said, I originally did a Templar, so we'll go ahead and play their video first. You came to us in search of a purpose. And mark this, there is no purpose greater than ours. The world will founder without structure and discipline. It needs leadership to guide it to a new age of stability. It needs those with the will to stamp out the darkness that breeds in the cracks. We do this because we are compelled. By tradition, by loyalty, by laws. Without these, we are just animals. Evil reigns over animals, corrupting and compromising toppling empires. So our empire must be incorruptible, must be uncompromising. Our conflict must be a There you go. If you're interested in that type of background, Deliverance from Evil, a huge, long standard traditional organization, the Templars are there. Um, speaking of, back when the Secret World initially launched, there was a questionnaire that came out that's probably still out there that uh, helps you kind of decide based on your lifestyles and choices of which one of these organizations you're interested in. But let's go ahead and watch the Dragons now and see what their focus is. Ah, what is the chaos theory? It's a thousand coins flung into the air. Each one wavering in the course in the rise and fall. Between justice and greed, tenderness and blood. Calamity and boredom. Who are the dragons? We are not the face of a coin. Praying for fate to favor our side. We are the hand that makes the toss. We are the trajectory. We are the violence in the wind. Countless conditions determine every outcome. And we strive to know and manipulate them all. A thousand coins tumble down, and we formulate the equations and model that predict, where each and every one will fall. And when they fall, we will adjust accordingly and fling them back into the air. For we are the dragon. And we take chaos far beyond theory. Pretty cool. So in the original Secret World, I played a dragon because I was all about the chaos. Now today we're going to take a look at Illuminati. Seize the power. Power is our currency. Our 
our DNA, our God. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here, hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks and hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary regardless of the cost because the world is a bad place and you can either do or get done. Not ominous at all. So, the Illuminati, sex, drugs, and Rockefeller, Templars, deliverance from evil, the Holy Crusade, and then the Art of Chaos, the Dragon. Which one are you? I'm going to go with the Illuminati today for character creation. So, jumping right in, character creation is the same regardless of faction. Your looks, feels, and everything is going to be the same. This is your first screen. You can choose between male and female. And we'll just run through these real quick. Um, I'm going to make a male, so we'll get back to that. So we'll start with female. So you have a lot of head options that give you a basic look to start off. And what I always like to do, the first thing I want to do, is I'm going to pick a hairstyle that gets it out of my face. If we're going to do the head and face, we need to be able to see it. So this is just what I do. This is what I re recommend you do. And then you pick your hairstyle based off of how it completes the look. So we start here, you got your different head styles. And you can choose color, so don't look at the color here because you can choose any color once you pick your face. So we're just running through this quickly. So you start with your basic shape of your head, your head shape, and then you'll mix it up with your um, face selection. So you can just run through here, and you, as you can see, there's a lot of varieties to get your starter look based on your head shape of what you want to do. Then once you find one that you kind of like, I'm just going to stick with the basic, then you can jump over to your face, and then you have variations to make this look different. And this is going to affect your chin, your nose, your lips, and your shape of your eyes. So if you pick one, as you can see there, the chin changed. When I click on four, it changed the lips, so on and so forth. So each one of these, you only get to pick one, affects different things. So you just kind of basically rounding out how you want the look to look to finish it up. And you can look at the different aspects by clicking on these and kind of seeing what it's adjusting. Once you do that, say we're going with this then you can change your hair your eyebrow style as a separate configuration now your hair eyebrows can be a different color than your hair and here's all your choices you know you can do some pretty cool stuff same thing with the eye color you got various different levels of eyes um, what I think is really cool about the eyes the more to the left you are, the more solid in color you are. The more to the right, the more open, opaque it is in color. And then all the way to the right, depending on which ones you got, you got kind of a shimmer or a glow to it. See how it's dark, medium, and then glowing light. So that's how the eyes work. On facial features, well, that's weird. Oh, there we go. These are like your scars, your emblems, your tattoos. This is separate from makeup. But these put symbols and shapes and patterns on your face that you can pick. And these are separate from tattoos. So there you go. They've got lots of different choices here. See, these are scars, different things, lots of scars. But then you can come over here and do makeup, and these make it even more interesting. They stack with it. So now I got scars with eyeshadow. I got scars with a palm on my face. 
So it's pretty cool. That's kind of interesting. So let's go with that just for this test scenario. Now, and then you can choose the color of it also. So um, your, your facial features did not have a color. They're just there. But your makeup can be any color you like. And different things have different textures of color that go with it. And then I like to come back to the hair. So now I've completed my look. Now I fit the hairstyle that matches with what I've done with my face shape, my whatever, to make sure it fits. And then you can change the hair color too. Same thing. So let's go back and look at the male version. It's going to be the same exact process. First thing I do, I get rid of the hair, and I go to my head, and I look for my head shape. So you can get your diversity of looks, find out what you want to kind of be, what can you want to represent, what kind of head shape, rounded, flat, square. And they're pretty diverse here. You got lots of choices, depending on, are you trying to make your look? Are you trying to make just a look you like? Young look, an old look. Ooh, the square cleft chin style. Almost oriental look. Let's see here. Since this is going to be one of my characters, let's start with that. Now let's look at the colors. Do I want to be really light, white? And if you can tell, they're kind of, they get darker as they go left to right. And then bottom to top. I'm kind of going back and forth, back and forth. That's good. Now let's go to the shape of the face. That brings the nose in. That brings the nose up. That kind of flattens the nose and spreads the nostrils area there. That adds some lip service. Raised eyebrows, dropped eyes, more chiseled chin, a sucked up chin, and kind of a more over on narrow. I think I kind of like the wider, narrower face. So we can go to eyebrows. Let's see here. Do we like the full brushy, the kind of brushy with a peak? Fading out, pencil thin, bushy. And if you notice, the eyebrow choices on the male are much different than the female. The females give you more opportunity for pencil thin and short, and the male isn't doing that, which is fine. It gives us a distinction between, so they're not exactly the same between customization between the male and female. So I think that's pretty good, just the long, and let's make it interesting. Let's see here. The white old man look. Got some gold. Some bright red if you want to get different. Just plain black. Sparkling blue. I think, let's see here. Gray? No, it's kind of too. I think I'm going to go with the white. Kind of give him a little bit more older look. Eye color. Let's see here. We got gray, white on white. Give him the albino type look. We can go some blue, purple. That's kind of cool. I like that color for some reason. Gold, yellow. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want to go with the white on white for some reason. Facial features. These ones are always cool. This I kind of call my role play section. How are you visioning your guy? Now, he's an Illuminati, so he's always about power control. So if he's 
This is a very an Illuminati type symbol. But do I want that on my forehead? Here's one that looks like he's beat up or dirty. This one's like a clan line. Ooh. Dragon. Let's see here. What really speaks to me? Little heart. <laughs> Football lines. Tears. Interesting. That one's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Now we're just getting into scars. Ooh, meat grinder amount of scars on that one. Oh, I can have beard options. Look at that. But no color choices. That's that's interesting. Oh, I see. The color choices is in picking it. But they don't have any gray. I feel robbed. Where's my gray beard? I like the idea of oak beard, right? but I want to color it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let me just get the soul patch. Sure, why don't we why don't we go with that? Makeup! What is our makeup options? Oh you're stylish. Interesting. That's kinda of interesting. <laughs> Camouflage. Oh, now that's cool. I like that. Now, what if we make that like that's purple, gold, kind of hard to see. Pink is weird. Purple, like blood. Blue or green. Almost like he's splitting a blood vein, huh? All right, we'll consider that. Ah, that's interesting. Fiery eyes. Interesting. Spider webs. Nice. Oh no, that's cool. That's like a eagle flying, a crow. Oh, that's really cool. It's not bad either. <laughs> That's interesting. Nice. Oh, kitty cat. Wow, there's a lot. Seems like there's a lot more choices for these than there was on the female side. I'm curious what that looks like if I don't have. Nope. Interesting. Okay. Nope. Either there's more choices on the male side than there was the female, or I didn't scroll far enough down. 
which is possible. That gives you the dirty face. Um, what do you think? That's a simple look. I don't want simple. Which one was it that I liked? That one's kind of cool. Should I go with the skull? I think we should go with the skull. But let's change our eyebrow color to correspond. It's kind of a brownish hair there. Maybe even change the size and shape of it. Uh, I want to like that. Red, purple. Right. Sorry, this is taking much longer than I expected. But I hope you're. Uh, Seeing the struggles that can go into this. Mm. Actually, I think I'll leave it the way. All right, let's pick some hair. I'll go with this. Start at the top. Once again, we can start with various things. Let's go ahead and uh, pick something that's bright and outlandish so we can really see the hair stand out. Not that we'll pick that color, but so we can figure out what we want. There's the smooth hawk, the shaped hawk, the fuzzy hair. And obviously the hair color does not work for every shape. Some of them just aren't going to look right with that color of hair. Right now I'm just looking for a basic shape. Ooh. Alright. <laughs> the kind of the, the mad scientist look. Let's see here. Some of these are pretty obvious I'm not interested in. Alright. punker look. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh. The mad clown look. The man bun. Oh yeah, here we go. tough. Decisions, decisions. That's not a bad luck right there. But what do I want for the hair color? I want to give it some spice here. See how the highlights and the color changes it? Kind of makes it look different. That one's kind of cool. It's kind of got a reddish but not reddish look to it. From a distance, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's go with that. Now you can also adjust your height. You really don't get body size choices as far as density or whatever, but you can do the height. I'll just leave it a regular height. That looks pretty cool. Now 
you get to select clothes. Now, even if you don't want to wear the item, I strongly recommend that you pick one of everything because it's your first set of clothing in the game and you get to keep it. If you don't select something like when I made my first character, I did not pick a hat or an eyeglass, which means I did not get that added to my inventory um, of clothes to choose. So even if you don't plan to wear something, make sure you pick one of everything because it just starts off your collection of items off the bat. So even though I probably I don't like to wear hats, I'm going to take that hat. Um, for glasses, not really into wearing glasses usually. But let's see if we can find something that's kind of cool. That one's not bad. I kind of like that. Ooh, white or black. I think I'll take the black ones because, like I said, we just want to get it in our inventory. Chest item. So right now, let's go to coat. Do they have one where I'm not wearing a coat? Yeah, let's take off the coat. See what our shirt looks like. Like you said, you only get to pick one. Now, you, the game is based on the fact that you can get all the outfits eventually. So don't worry about, oh, well, I really want a couple of them. This is just to get you started in the game. That's kind of cool. I think I'll go with that. Then you go back to your coat. And you pick your jacket to go on it. If you're coming over from Secret World, you know a lot of this already. But you got to bring all your outfits with you if you did the one-time copy. A leather jacket. Now see how this jacket completely covers up your shirt, so it doesn't matter what shirt you're wearing. Let's go with red. And then the same thing for the pants. Get to pick a pair of pants. And this is, like you said, just your starter outfit. But they give you a lot of choices. Actually, I think I like the ones I was wearing when I started. And then same thing for shoes. You get to pick some shoes. Dress shoes. Mm. Okay, maybe different bands. Complete the red look. There we go. Let's do it. What do you think? All right. Next thing you do is you come over and you select your class. And this is really why I wanted to make the video because this part is where people are going to have the most trouble if they don't understand how the secret world works. You get two weapons. And in the old way, you would go through the tutorial, try out the weapons in this shooting range, and then just pick two of them. Well, now what they do is they give you a starter class. And the starter class basically pre-picks you two weapons to, to denote a play style. Now, keep in mind, once you're in-game, if you decide you don't like those two weapons, all you have to do is pick up any other weapon, learn a basic ability, and start leveling that one up. So, for example, if we look at the Ravager, and these classes and weapons combinations are the same regardless of faction, so the Ravenger class, if you look over here, your primary weapon is a fist and your secondary is blood focus. This is a class that's designed around people that like to heal. And it's given you the notable abilities that is built into this starter class. Now keep in mind, each weapon has three lines of abilities to learn in the active role. So even though it's saying go down the line for Berserker in your fist weapon to be a healer, there's also a couple other lines that are focused on DPS and would 
make you less effective as a healer possibly or more effective depending on how you mix and match your abilities. And then here Sanctuary is saying it's blood magic. Now, this is the crucial point. You want to play a healer. This is saying how hard it's going to be to learn how to play this class as a Ravenger effectively. Um, and that may be because it takes longer for some of your abilities to unlock that really make the class shine. Or just the fact that, well, it's a healer and you're designed to help people more than to kill them. Now, in Sacred World, every ability does damage and or heals for the most part. Um, or I should, let me correct that. If you're a healer, you still have your abilities that do damage, but then you could have some specific that are only for healing. And that's what would also add to the difficulty. So, going down the list, Assassin is based on Blade Elemental Focus. Oh, and also keep in mind your outfits. This outfit you're given for picking the class. So you can switch out to this outfit also. Um, as you progress and you max out all the abilities in a given weapon, you unlock faction outfits which are specific to the weapons that you have and the faction that you are. I believe you can get the, the faction outfits in any color, so it's not focused like in the old days, a warlord outfit, which was for the dragons, was only for dragons. Now you can get the warlord outfit in blue, red, or green to denote which faction that you belong to. Like I'm Illuminati, so I would unlock the warlord as blue if I got Hammer Chaos as my two maxed out weapons. So anyway, off track, but there you go. So here we go, Blade, Elemental Focus, and this is notable as a damage dealer. Now this is kind of a cool combination. Um, blades are melee and Elemental is ranged. A Mercenary, Assault Rifle and a Fist Weapon. Fist Weapons are melee, Assault rifles are ranged. Here's another healer, and it's a little easier to learn. Punisher, shotgun, and hammer. Um, and this is basically uh, survivability. So this is your tank class. Warlocks, blood magic, and assault rifle. As you can see, there's a number of weapons. And once again, focused on healing your allies. And look how difficult this one is to master. It's a difficulty of five. Gunslinger, pistols and shotguns, is a damage dealer. And it's fairly easy to learn. Only two on the difficulty scale. Magus, Elemental and Chaos, it's a damage dealer. Level four difficulty. This is all basically, well, Chaos is a melee attack, it's close quarters, but Elemental is ranged. So um, keep that in mind. Hammer and Blade is all melee. It's purely survivability, and it's all right in the thick of things because you have very short range with both your blade and your hammer. And then finally, your Trickster is Chaos and Pistols, and it's focused on tanking also, but this is all um, Pistols is short range, and Chaos is melee range. And it's really easy to learn, is basically what they're saying. Uh, so there we go. I think for this guy, I'm going to go ahead and go with, what was it? The Assassin. I think I'm going to try the Sword Elemental for this. Why? Just because. All right. So next and your final step of the game um, is you're going to be, oh, and you get to select down here which outfit do you want to enter the game with. You own both of them. As far as I understand, but you only you this is what I'll be wearing when I enter the game. So you have to pick a nickname. Your nickname is unique. Your nickname, in the scheme of things, is your middle name, but it's also unique to only your character. So for this guy, I'm going to do Sarcan with two ends because I've already used Sarcan with one end. Now your first and last name does not have to be unique, and you can have 50 people on the server with the same first, the same last, the same first and last. So for me, my first name is always Chief, my last name is always Dosa. Why? That way you, my viewers, 
all can find me in game if you see me. If you see Chief something Dosa, you know it's me regardless of what the middle name is. I'm trying to keep it all Sarkan or some variation of that just so you can find me. But that's the way I've set this up. And now I'm ready to go. As soon as I hit this play button, I'm going to start the, the Illuminati version of the introduction. And because I want you to have that as a surprise, I am not going to record that for you. I'm going to do that offline and then I will start another video for you to watch. So stay tuned in the Secret Worlds Legends channel here on my YouTube and you'll be able to start picking up and watch, seeing as I progress through the game, I'm going to try and give you a glimpse of all the quests available and some of the special actions as I progress through the story. Either on this tune or my main, the other Sarkan, we'll get it all documented. At least that's my plan. So anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed the look into the character creation of Secret Worlds Legends and now can understand the differences from the original Secret World if you were curious of what's changed, what modifications you've possibly had. If you like what you've seen, please hit down below the follow and hit me up on Chief Undersource Sarkant over on Twitter. If you want to follow along, I do occasionally stream live and I also write guides and articles covering games in various locations. So until next time, Thanks for coming out. We will see you later.